Right, um, so I think what we need to sort of start with is thinking about some of the things that are commonly used to differentiate humans yeah. and animals. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, for a long time, you know, people have been putting forward, you know, say, saying that we're clearly different, like, we're clearly different, like, we are people. Like, the, the concept of just just the concept of, like, us and them, like, we're yes. humans and they're animals. Yes. Is, like, just so ingrained in, in like everyone's sort of thinking that, absolutely um, yeah so like let's uh, so we need to sort of like maybe pull that apart a bit and find out like what it what what what, what are that the different really aspects means. um that yeah. people quite often use yeah. to, to to distinguish us from animals so, so what we're really asking is there like a unique trait or behavior yeah that is not seen in any way in animals yeah um but that is seen in humans yeah um and well, well we'll go through some of the common ones and then there's then... Some, definitely some candidates that we can talk about there there are there are um there are some that's a good way of putting it yeah, some yeah. candidate <laughs> candidate traits yeah um so a common thing that people talk about is uh and obviously depending on who's watching this they will have already already either ruled this out or, or whatever they yeah, might yeah, think sure, sure. but we'll go through some of the the kind of basic ones yeah. um which we think are, are probably like definitely not true Oh, yeah. I think some of them are definitely yeah, certainly, not true. Certainly, yeah. um, so things like like emotions. Mm. So so a lot of people say that anim or I would say a lot of misinformed people say that animals just act only on instinct. Purely on instinct, yeah. Um, so they don't ha they don't have any like emotions. Yeah. Uh, it's all just like mechanical yeah. behavior. Yeah, and the, like emotion is like a it's like a purely human trait yes so to feel sadness to feel depression happiness like love like, yeah love um, yeah yeah like even like empathy maybe yeah. you could fold into that um yeah do like altruistic sort of like uh behaviors yeah 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 sure um i mean immediately that's like al altruism exists in many many other animals and that's not yes. like that's that's def i mean that's that's certainly not something that could be even yeah. argued as a, as a as a uniquely human trait. Yeah. So if we if we look at the animal world, do, do we have examples then specific like species or species or like types of animals that exhibit say like empathetic behaviours to it or or like obviously have emotions when other animals die? Yeah. Yeah. Um, definitely. I mean, like like elephants, for example, yeah. like massively mourn their dead. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And you know, like spend ages kind of after they've died, like standing by them, mm -hmm. like almost just like doing like a vigil or something you know yeah, absolutely like... yeah that, i mean the, the, there's stories of, of elephants and like not just sort of like anecdotal stories as in studies yeah of watching and observing yeah, elephant yeah, yeah. behavior yeah. where they'll uh, like one of the big females will die or something and the elephants will surround them and like cover them in like leaves and stuff yeah. and like branches <laughs> and just wait for days like m essentially mourning the the dead animal yeah um and only go off for food and water and come back um, and it takes a long time for them to eventually yeah. leave. And what I mean, what is that if it's not an emotional response to that death? Yeah, because there's no, it it it's one of those things. It's not. There's no benefit in terms of your immediate survival for getting food, um, for getting water, for reproduction that kind of comes out of that. Aside from the benefit yeah. to the society of elephants. Yes. As in, as in treating each individual as a valuable yeah. like member of that elephant society yeah yeah um another example is you see that chimps you see you see and there's yeah, loads yeah, yeah, there's loads of examples and quite horrible videos of very upset like chimps like mourning the loss of a like a dead baby chimp yeah. or um a dead you know relative or something that's been injured um trying to care for them these yeah. types of things you see it in dogs. Yeah, well, I'm asking to say like anyone who anyone who has a dog has like yeah. spent a while with the dog, like they have emotions. You can you can see yeah. that like that they, they they respond to like your emotions. They can get like sad. They can get like angry. They can be yeah. They can scared. be moody. Yeah, they can be a bit sort of like. If you've ever owned a pet, you you yeah. just know that the start of this like the the, the whole concept of this is just nonsense. That, yeah. that, that they're totally not. Yeah. Um. They're to and obviously there's like levels to this so some animals are when you get down to like really basic levels are like really very very kind of like instinctive and and not yeah like a spider or something yeah yeah um yeah a, sp a spider's like working on a very very stripped down um Version. brain exactly so, so it doesn't have the capacity probably to have such complex no emotions but i mean emo emotions the kind of kind of research on emotions they are quite 
um, in terms of like all the rest of our like higher brain functions and the, and the kind of complex processing that our brains do, yeah, emotions are actually quite basic in terms of they're quite they're quite physiological. Yeah, um, there's often like a like strong chemist chemical driver behind them. Exactly. Yeah, you'll well, see spikes in blood levels of yeah. you know different yeah exactly chemicals. like hormones and all kinds of yeah. stuff. Um, so there's actually like a quite like a, a strong branch of thinking which is that emotions are actually some of the more basic forms of our of our of our brains of our brain function Absolutely. and actually actually tie back to like have their evolutionary history in the very things that people talk about animals purely having which is in- instinct yeah um so like so like for example like something like fear um could be thought of as, a, as an emotion but it arises from like an animal instinct yeah. essentially a fight or flight kind of yeah. adrenaline rush so some emotions are kind of more complex obviously or have evolved from more social interactions between animals so obviously some like fear are very basic yeah 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 yeah, Um, definitely yeah that was that was like a a really basic example yeah um, it's just yeah exactly so so some altruistic emotions the the need to help something else from your species yeah doesn't exist obviously in in more basic life forms that aren't sort of socially yeah sure don't have a social necessity yes. in their in their biology yes. or their behavior yes exactly um, yeah so you get more there's kind of different levels of emotions in terms of how primitive and non-primitive they are but yeah I, uh, yeah i see what you're saying but yeah of- so the point is the point is what i just said is that um is that this argument that some people put forward that like emotions are a human trait and that mm. animals act purely on instinct actually there's a thing there's thinking that those emotions that they're that they're describing are actually the instinct that the animals are acting on so like that that yeah. like and what not, I mean obviously more complex evolved forms of it, mm. but there's a thread you can trace back. Yes, that that is actually um, more like did, uh, what was I trying to say? Like the the emotion the, the instincts the animals mm. are acting on are basically rudimentary forms of emotion. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and that actually like logical thinking and stuff is 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 more of a human trait than emotion. Yeah, yeah, um, sure. But yeah, or well, certainly a trait. Yes, yeah, of, of higher higher intelligences. Yes, exactly. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So so emotions, not there's no evidence whatsoever for emotions being uniquely human. No, like no, not at all. No, there's every every evidence to suggest the closer you get to humans from any any species go up to primates, the closer you get to uh, emotion to a human level complex complexity in emotions. Yeah. Um, so emotions, no, that doesn't yes, differentiate. Scratch that off the list. Get rid of that. Um, so what about things like, like language? Like language, yeah, hmm. language. Um, yeah, lang- I mean, language is a, it's just a form of communication, right? Mm-hmm. And there's plenty of other, animals plenty of other animal species yeah. that communicate with each other. Yes, like vocally, in terms of like wolves. The dogs, yeah, howling and, and dogs, yeah, yeah, dogs. Although actually, um, uh, people say that I've seen a dog talk. What on like YouTube videos? Oh yeah, it said I don't know. It said like there was a, I used Some to have a, I used to have a teacher that that had a dog that apparently used to be obsessed with eating lemons, <laughs> and it was, it was it was a weird dog. It would eat lemons, okay, and it was it would it would its mouth would swell up from all the like sourness of the lemon. But it used to like it. <laughs> what a crazy! And what dog. it used to do when it wanted the lemons was 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 sort of yelp the word lemons. <laughs> Kind of like trying to yelp lemons and go and get like the lemon. To them, like crack a, or she, she was South African, and uh, they used to have lemon trees in their garden. They used to live in South Africa. And the dog wanted lemons, so they'd pick a lemon and give it to the dog. Weird. I mean, that's a dog using like <laughs> like human language. Yeah, it's like a well. He's obviously kind of. it, oh, yes, it is, but it's like a like a parrot learns to mimic something. Yeah, bit, or maybe a bit smarter than that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. There's 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 dogs. They don't communicate normally, but they don't have a proper voice box to do. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Like, that's why it was sort of English, squealing normally. in lemons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's possible. I wonder if it had been trained sort of to do that though, like to make Possibly. that sound. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but, but certainly they communicate. With howling, with howling, with, with, howling with each other, like d- wolf packs communicate with howling, definitely. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they um, have like different developed, like d- different types of of howling, like language howling, like v- varieties in that howling compared yes. to where different species of wolves, and not just within species as well, like almost cultures of wolves yeah. that have their own distinct languages, despite being the same species because they've been isolated by yeah. like uh, spatially. And another really good example of that is is whales and dolphins yeah, whales and yeah. dolphins yeah, yeah. Um, like pods of orcas and stuff have 
distinctive um, calls and songs and stuff that, mm. that, that are distinct from other popular other groups in different parts of the world. Yes. So you can kind of, they almost have like their own dialects and things like that, and, yeah. and they and they have different calls to mean different things. Yeah. Like hunting calls mm-hmm. and various other things like that. Um, so there's plenty of plenty of examples of, of like vocal language. Yeah. Um, but there's like other like commu- forms of communication, obviously like pheromones in ants. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, like uh, like flashing lights, flashing lights in in various Squids marine things, and stuff. like cuttlefish yeah, and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, there's loads, and there's loads of like fish that I think do they but fish by communicate by luminescent fish, like in the deep ocean. Yeah. How do fish communicate? Do they communicate? Some do. There's this one. There's this one species of fish that communicate by uh, um, in like big schools, very right. rudimentary communication by big shoals, schools, whatever, by um, like letting out little puffs of gas. Oh. Which is really strange. Fine. Yes. And the researchers <laughs> that discovered it made an acronym for it that literally is FART. I can't remember exactly oh, what, what it stands great. for, but it's like the paper and everything. I was taught about it, you know, when I was doing my undergrad and everything. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah, it's in the title of the paper. It's like FART. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's basically, it's basically so this, a form oh, okay. of communication. So fish, can, fish have, have um, some rudimentary forms of communication. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that, it exists across... Mm. the animal kingdom and if, and is able to be culturally passed down yes. and and diverges within separate species yes. so i guess there's an argument that that, that language is separate from well, not separate from but like oh, language is just a, a more complex form of communication right it's just it's just there's more to it there's more yeah layers, so like those fish puff and stuff up their ass yeah like they might they're like in different regions might have like they might do they might have slightly different like timings in those puffs of gas yeah. that mean that mean the same thing but the, but but would mean different things to different fish i don't know yeah maybe not in fish but certainly in things like whales and wolves and like higher yes. animals yes and that's um, sort of been shown and, and even with like like apes like but that's that's language stuff. isn't it even if, even if like it's puffs language. of gas are at different times but they mean different things different places that's yeah that is language if there's like an information coded into it in some way then yeah. that's language sure yeah definitely and well the language is the idea that it's not universal right that you have a like there's not there's not a like a differentiation between oh like a language in terms of like like, like french and english or like, yeah is that is that is well, that part maybe, of the maybe. definition of a language that you have to have like like local i mean don't know it's probably something that it's probably something that that inevitably always is going to arise if you have some form of yeah. of group communication um, and then not too much mixing between groups yeah like you see like yeah like french and english and like any language in human mm. language but also when you see in whale populations yeah. having different but like that's to, to to if if you don't know if you haven't read much about it or whatever then you some people would assume that that kind of barking is the same everywhere or that, yeah, you know, yeah 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 um, yeah that, that, that there aren't these these like separate passed down yeah uh, identities to to animal communication which you could define as like different languages yes yeah potentially yeah um so language i think we can cross that off yeah as in obviously human language is far more complex yeah and yeah like, and that, that's that's true of what, i mean most most of what we're talking about here is, is that we exhibit just a, a very complicated version of all these things yes um but it's certainly not something that we have uniquely yeah um, um these are some of yeah i mean these are some of the sort of more obvious more easy yeah ones. like so te- technology technology yeah absolutely yeah. yeah so like obviously i mean that's almost like the most obvious thing if you if you if you came to the earth and mm. looked at the earth and you had saw a bunch of animals and a bunch of humans like the the, the kind of the main difference you'll see, be immediately apparent is technology yeah I mean, you have technology they don't basically um but so, not true yeah <laughs> not true plenty so, of animals have have tech technology yeah obviously again very like, rudimentary yeah in, a, in like a very very general dis- general definition of the word technology just purely like something that makes a task easier basically yeah yeah, um, using this something that's not one of your like appendages. Yeah, that's like kind of an inanimate object to achieve a goal. Yeah, in a more effective way than you would have just by using part of your body. Yeah, or an animal's body. Yeah, that's tech. So, so uh, like a uh, apes, sticks, stick them in, stick them in a termite nest, pull them out, get those tasty ants off. Yeah. Um, nice little skewer. There's like vi- videos of chimps running around, like um, th- like the dominant males, like doing a sort of like show. Yeah. He's, like g- getting angry, and they're all kind of like <laughs> loving it, watching him. And he'll get um, find like fuel tanks taken from like human villages, like empty like yeah. metal food, and use them to like bang around and make more noise, <laughs> like a drummer or something. <laughs> um, chimps are awesome. Yeah, and uh, another example which I think is really interesting is crows and and those yeah, types yeah, of crows birds. Are awesome. Um, 
the game they use sticks to achieve certain goals yeah uh, again for like like poking them into holes in trees and stuff right to yep. like get out insects but they do madder stuff than that crows yeah. and, and so do apes um, in fact before, before we talk about crows you told me a story once about that monkey that like grabbed a bottle and wanted to trade it I mean this is sort oh, of oh yeah tools. yeah yeah yeah, it's sort of, it's sort of tools. It's Just definitely, it's definitely the like, anyway, it's definitely it's like cool. a demonstration of of, of, of industry, like intelligence and like problem solving. But yeah. it's basically, I went to like a, a chimpanzee sanctuary in South Africa, mm. and um, there was there was this like enclosure, like a big, it's massive enclosure. It was like mm. the size of like a forest fenced in, where they kept yeah. the adult chimps. Um, <laughs> That's like Jurassic rehabil- Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were rehabilitating them basically after like they'd been, I don't know, they'd all been abused. Like I don't know, something. Yeah, horrible. they'd been rescued from various places, and they were rehabilitating them. So they were in this massive pen, and the guide woman who was showing us around had a water bottle. Yeah. And when she was talking to us by the adult chimp enclosure, she put it on the ground right by the fence. And as soon as she put it down and let go of it, one of the adult chimps had it like under the fence, like just grabbed it and ran off with it. And like they were, I don't know, there's probably about ten or so of these things, and they were just screaming like, ah, ah, like throwing it into the air and like running up and down trees and like just going absolutely mental, just like running just around, loving the water, yeah, like smashing the ground with their hands and stuff and just God. screaming. They're so loud. It's pretty, yeah. pretty like scary actually. Like yeah, you see yeah. loads of adult chimps going mental. Powerful like beasts. But then, um, then she was she was she had to trade to get it back. So she had like treats, like nuts, I think it was. Oh, yeah. And so she had to she had to, in order to get the bottle back, she had to like give a nut to this chimp through the fence. And but it didn't just give her the bottle back. It took the lid off of the bottle and gave her that, and then asked for another nut to get the to get the second nut back. That's so clever. I know, and it's dem- I mean, that's demonstrating all kinds of like things, like the concept of like bargaining and stuff, and yeah, like and like social, like like evolutionary game theory, like intelligence game theory, yeah, like social game theory, yeah, uh, in in a like a very much like game type environment yeah, rather than absolutely. like a social, uh, communicative context. Yeah. But they weren't trained. Were they trained to do Well, it? that's the thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We, don't they, know. It was made to seem like it, it just happened. Um, sure. But it might be that they've learned that behavior. They've learned that behavior, or one of them has taught it and then passed it on, or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or that she just does. She's that happened once one day, and now she just does it every day to every tour group that comes. Yeah. Right well, if it through. happened, if it happened, it happened spontaneously, if, yeah. If it happened spontaneously, then that's like that's really, really cool. Yeah. <laughs> and it wouldn't surprise like the stuff I've heard about like what chimps do. Mm. Um, it wouldn't surprise me that if that was like a spontaneous thing that had happened. Yeah. Um, Actually, on the subject, just before you, I talk about crows, about on chimps. Have you ever seen that? This is this is about language, I suppose, more. But have you yeah. ever seen that um, that documentary where they have like a bunch of bonobos and they teach them symbols to like that mean like certain things? And this guy, I've goes, heard of this kind of stuff, but yeah. And they they press these symbols, and yeah. the symbols mean stuff. Like there's a sort of uh, a chart for the guy the presenter to look through and, and talk to this this bonobo and the bonobo is sort of sitting there a bonobo is like a type of chimpanzee isn't it yeah it is um, yeah and it sits there and he asks it like a question of like some of these things and yeah. the bonobo like presses these things back as like, like how answer. are you as an answer because it knows it's been trained to know how to do this yeah. and like you get like a sentence back that like's made up of these symbols so like it literally comes out as like text I'm fine thank you or something like that that's bizarre and then he's just sat there like talking to this bonobo just looking at it and just like pressing these buttons and the bonobo is like answering his questions by pressing in like a very and that's like how he's, having a, he's having a conversation with a chimp there with a bonobo presumably sort of. presumably yeah I mean there's been uh, there's plenty of re- uh, like they teach or have been able to teach gorillas chimpanzees bonobos mm. like sign language and things like that yeah um, it, and obviously they can't have like constant conversations about like abstract concepts and stuff but no, no, they no. are capable of, of answering questions about themselves yeah or asking for food mm. ask, you know asking for to go outside or whatever you know just like yeah. sort of basic stuff yeah um yeah, yeah that's really cool definitely um anyway so so uh in terms of tool use yeah um so yeah crows. Ch- yeah crows can do loads of cool stuff as well so they like we said they use sticks and stuff but they also like the, crows have like different different cultures of yeah. um using certain tools so for example there was a i think it i think it might have been like belgium or something weird like it's a group i can't remember exactly where it was um but a group of crows learned a way to open a specific like seed or nut or something that they wanted to use um that they wanted to eat and they couldn't do it with their beaks they don't have very strong beaks. yeah yeah crows. sure sure they're not like parrots or something 
And so what they did is they worked out that you could drop the nuts onto roads and cars would run them over. Oh, I heard about. I think I heard about this. And they they realised that obviously that that the car would run over it would get you'd get the nut out you'd be able to eat it. Problem is that it was dangerous because these cars are flying past and yeah. some of the crows might get injured or would get would have no doubt got injured or killed. Yeah, sure. Um, so the crows began to drop them. They they realised that the cars would stop at certain regions and and that the, the, there would be like an area where they could drop them where they would be less likely to get hurt like like traffic lights so they drop them at zebra zebra crossings which are ov- like really like visually obvious yes. like regions yes um and so they drop them there they'd get run over and then they'd f- when the when the lights went you'd literally have like some crows waiting for the lights to go That's people start mental. going they fly down grab the nut and fly off like really really kind of bizarre yeah um that's crazy behavior that's that's just so so smart for a, a bird yeah and, i mean lots of birds are smart but you kind of think of birds as kind of stupid like yeah, ostriches are so stupid yeah yeah they're kind of a lot of birds look at like pretty dumb like chickens <laughs> <laughs> so have a look, sort oh, of a dead chickens. look behind their eyes yeah they do yeah and then sort of the movements they make yeah. is, is is they're quite far from humans obviously they've got a very different evolutionary yeah. history so they feel intuitively not that smart um but they they they're very capable of using tools um it's quite weird to think of, it's quite hard to compare like how, how how like a crow would fit into mammalian intelligence like where what it would compare to in, a, in the mammal mm. sort of continuum of intelligence yes whether it would be comparable to like a dog possibly more intelligent than a dog if it's doing stuff like that well there's always a problem with trying to compare intelligences between yeah, sure. like things quite like different. Fr- from cephalopods up to, yeah, yeah, up well, to yeah. you know non-avian di- uh, avian dinosaurs yeah. to um, mammals which because they they have such different evolutionary histories yeah well at least have, at least birds and and mammals have, have a, common, like a common ancestor well they have a more recent, have a more recent much more their recent. brains certainly yeah. have come the, the common ancestor of birds and um mammals had a brain already at that point yes whereas no it didn't not with kepler not with kepler no. so the, the brains that kepler pods have like octopus and squid and all that stuff yeah. is like it's like totally it's totally, has a totally separate evolutionary history from from our brain is is it they, well, they don't really have a centralized brain at all. Not either. really, no. It's this weird, like, like each they have, arm they have has nodes. Own, yeah, they have nodes, like, interconnected nodes. Are there neurons? Um, Do they? Are there? Is it like an example of, um, you know, where it sort of repeats itself? Evolution. What's that called? Convergent evolution. Yes. Yeah. Convergent yes. evolution. Yeah. Yes. Um, so did they do they have neurons and stuff? Yes. Or do they have something analogous to neurons? Yeah, they have neurons. Um, I'm not sure if it was if it was squid and cuttlefish, uh, cuttlefish, mm. or if it was jellyfish now. And if it's jellyfish, obviously they're a whole different like. Yeah, that's just a bunch of like group microbes of stuff. stuck together, basically. Yeah. Um, that 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 there was like, evidence that the neurons that they had, or the, the neuron-like cells that they had, yes. were had emerged like after the common ancestor with like us. Yes. So 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 that basically so what their that means, common ancestor had no neurons at yeah, all. Yeah. So the common ancestor individu- had no neurons. Individually evolved twice. Yeah. Exactly. It, from yeah. Not from yeah. non non yeah. from separated organisms. Yeah. Which I mean, it's not surprising that I mean that stuff no, no. happens all over the place all the time. Yeah. With wings, like, wings, wings, like, wings, really flights, common. common yeah. It, flights evolved like like five yeah, times. Yeah. Loads I think, of times separately um, over the course of eyes as well. I think. Yeah. Like eyes, visual systems. Yeah. Visual, visual systems. Um, have evolved obviously totally. legs. Yeah, um, yeah, movement systems. Yeah, all which, kinds of stuff. Those kinds of things, loads of things loads of does examples. make you. Yeah, exactly. It's like, in a way, sort of strengthens the arguments that you maybe get, like a certain intelligent type of spirit. We're we talking about yeah, last, we're week? last week. Yeah, like a certain a civilization building organism would look roughly the same. Yes. Um, yes. Because we, we, if you be, if again it goes back to that, what what life is and like whether it's based on DNA and stuff. If yeah. it is, then you might not be surprised. You might be shocked at how similar not, some of the things look. <laughs> If it have a different have a different molecule underlying it, mm. you still might find that you get convergent evolution to a certain point. Yeah, you might. I mean, yeah. It undergoes evolution in a similar environment mm. to us. Um, yeah, it will come up with surely you find similar solutions to the various problems that it would. Have, you know. Yeah, because it, it's still ruled by the same chemistry and the same physics. Yeah, yeah, and the same. You know, we know planets like Earth. You know, exist. So there's not a surprise. Yeah, exactly. That yeah that they might not say anyway that's a tangent uh, yeah yeah but it's cool um so so technology use like use of tools and stuff to make life easier definitely not it's definitely not human. just uniquely human obviously we're just really 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 good by, at it. by miles the best at it yeah. like that's one of the biggest th- there's a separator in the sense that we are so much better than yeah. anything else at using technology um same with language our language is l- so much more complicated in terms of like the abstract kind of yeah uh forms of it in comparison to other animals. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so and what you can represent in human language yeah. is is crazy compared to you know like the rudimentary yeah 
just like basic survival kind of needs that, that animal languages probably have they probably don't have abstract concepts like buried in there <laughs> um well we don't know. don't know don't know um but yes yeah so yeah tick that one off the list cross that yeah, one off the list. yeah i think so so all the, all the stuff that we've just been talking about like um technology use language emotion even all this stuff it's quite easy to see how those traits might have emerged in like animals and then also in us obviously through evolution and natural selection so you mean like yeah yeah so in terms of why they are traits that you would want to select and why they benefit an organism yes uh, in exactly. reproducing yeah so language obviously benefits an organism because if you can communicate with other organisms that are in your species you can you know develop ways in which to yeah, tackle like, problems or group together communicate yeah. basically end up doing yeah um, like sh- sharing information sharing about information, better ways basically. to hunt or find food is ultimately going to benefit everybody yes um because you, you know, everyone can then has that information and can go and use it and build yeah. on it and whatever exactly um, and similar with like tool use and, and things like exactly. that exactly obviously tool use is allows you to uh, have access to resources yeah. you wouldn't otherwise have access to yeah. so you can see how that got selected an animal that could pick up a stick and get ants is going to have a better chance of surviving and reproducing than one that can't because yeah. it's a, it has no food supply in that sense from, from ants or yeah and even emotion like you know if you have like a strong reaction emotional reaction to something mm. like 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 fear I mean I know fear is a very basic example um, but it's, it's, it's easy to sort of imagine how that could be like emerge through evolution obviously like I mean need, yeah fear is absolutely essential but same, same but, with same with emotions like empathy though like more complex yeah uh, high, I mean a society of animals doesn't work properly if yeah. if you don't have um a concept of understanding the position of others so empathetic yeah um uh, I, uh, emotions otherwise you basically like a punch of psychopaths and yeah and everyone will try and cheat that that's that system exactly the game the, the game theory the game of like evolution yeah sorry the game of, of a society yeah as in game theory yeah um you you, you wouldn't be able to detect cheaters and everything it would yeah. just be it would be a mess all the bargaining tools you use in society to find mates um yeah and, to and bargain for resources all these types of things necessitate an understanding of of the emotions of another animal yes um and therefore you have to have things like empathy you have to have complex emotions in more societal like driven yeah, yeah. higher animals exactly uh, like sort of as we were talking about last week like as this as the society gets more complex the kind of the, the interactions become more complex mm. so you kind of need a more complex sort of emotional yeah. basis to kind of run that society yes